Hi everyone, it's Miss Biril here. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than what we usually do. We're going to have a sit down video where I'm going to share some ideas that you guys can do during this quarantine. All of these ideas are very fun. They're very simple to follow. You guys can choose to do them by yourselves or with your siblings. So let's get started. The first idea that I have for you guys is to pick up a new hobby. With this, I mean you guys can learn a new painting skill, learn how to draw, you guys can learn how to do your own little garden, learn some new recipes to cook up. You guys are all really into TikTok, so learn a new dance for your TikToks, pick up a new instrument, and learn how to knit, or even learn how to bake. The second suggestion that I have for you guys is to read something. Read a book, an article that you like from online, read a magazine or a comic book. The third one that I have is to play with your pets or your siblings. Majority of you, if not all of you, have younger or older siblings. So why not take advantage of this quarantine and spend a little bit extra time with them? My next suggestion is to make a DIY or an art project. There's a lot of fun activities that YouTube offers. They're very fun and simple. Or you guys can go back and do some of the enrichment ideas that we had done in our own classroom. Uh, other than that, some ideas that I can come up with for my girls, come up with ways to do face masks. Uh, for my boys, learn how to do some cool decorations for your rooms or for your home. Or even if you guys want to do projects for your parents or your siblings. My next idea is to reorganize or declutter your rooms. It's never too early to do your spring cleaning. Number six is to help your parents out with cleaning. They do so much for us, so it'd be nice to give them a helping hand. You guys don't have to do anything extreme, but offer to wash the dishes or put the dishes away, take the trash out, or even do some dusting for them. My next suggestion is to take a virtual tour. Right now, there are so many free online resources that you guys can Google where they give you free virtual tours of museums, of aquariums, as well as of palaces or theme parks. All of you really enjoyed when we went to the Science Center, so it would be fun for you guys to find a virtual tour that shows you guys even bigger museums or aquariums. I think that would be very fun for you guys to do. Number eight is to work on a puzzle. If you guys don't have one, Physically, you guys can do online puzzles. There's a lot of free online ones that you guys can find. Or the 99 cent store or Dollar Tree sells puzzles as well. The ninth one is to exercise and meditate. During this time, it's very important to still take care of ourselves, of our mental health. So it'd be fun if you guys learn how to meditate to help you guys breathe a little bit better. If you guys are feeling a little bit anxious or stressed out. But other than that, you guys can pick up some yoga. Like I said, deep breathing. Do some simple aerobics. Or if you guys have this space, go ahead and do some of the sports that you guys love to do so much. Number 10 is to write in a journal. If you guys don't have one physically, it's very easy to make one yourselves. Just out of regular lined paper or construction paper or use a regular lined sheet of paper as well. If you guys don't have access to any of that, you guys have access to your Google Drive or to Microsoft Word. So it's the same thing. You guys can do it online instead of just writing it down physically. The next suggestion that I have is to learn a new language. Our own Mr. Henry is actually doing ASL lessons for his fifth graders. So if any of you are interested in learning ASL, let me know and I'll go ahead and pass along his videos to you guys. They're very fun. It's very interesting. And learning a new language, any new language, is very beneficial for you guys to have in the future. And the last suggestion is to video chat with your friends or family. With this, of course, ask your parents for permission beforehand. But there's FaceTime, there's Google Hangouts, Zoom, and so many other online resources where you guys can video chat your friends. These were my 12 suggestions that I came up with, but if any of you guys have any other ideas, go ahead and share them with me so that I can pass them on to your classmates. As always, make sure that you're taking care of yourselves, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will talk to you guys soon. I miss you guys.